Tonight, a former UPMC doctor is facing charges accused of prescribing controlled substances to friends and family before they were ever established patients. That former doctor is Katie McClellan, according to investigators. She worked at Gordon Gold and Associates in Cranberry from 2015 to 2021. There, police say she prescribed highly addictive drugs to at least four men over an eight year period. In 2022, investigators appeared before grand jury testifying against this woman and former UPMC family doctor Katie McClelland. Paperwork says their investigation revealed McClellan rarely wrote controlled substance prescriptions for her regular patients, but instead issued them to former boyfriends and eventually her husband. Investigators say none of the men were established as patients at her office when the scripts were first written and say one of them had been given scripts for over two years before becoming a patient and claims she never once requested his past medical records. Another man, whom police say was her husband, died in 2022 of a drug overdose just over a year after meeting McClelland. Paperwork says he had been in recovery and McClellan was aware of his struggles with addiction when they met. Yet one month into the relationship, she allegedly began writing him scripts, totaling over 35 prescriptions in a span of five months. According to paperwork, her husband died one week after McClellan checked him out of rehab to celebrate her birthday with her. KDKA talked to Fayette County Drug and Alcohol, who says education on substance use disorder in the medical community is limited. There's just so limited education on, you know, understanding the interactions of drugs and, and what can happen when someone is, is dependent on that drug. Um, and again, they think that it's OK, I know better and, and they don't. He says doctors should always ask their patients about their medical history and show compassion and resources to those in need. But they need to ask these questions, you know, uh, when was the last time you had a drink? When was the last time you had a drug? You know, even marijuana, you know, we tend to minimize this, but we should look into it. According to UPMC, McClellan was terminated three years ago after a thorough investigation. We reached out to her attorney who sent us this statement saying charging documents are only allegations, not established facts or evidence. This case is in the early phases of the judicial process, and we look forward to presenting our client's side of the story at the appropriate time. McClellan is currently out on bail. Her formal arraignment is in December.